Hello, Asta here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm extremely excited because I finally got my hands on the new foundation I couldn't wait to get. And the foundation is the Charlotte Tilbury and it's the new Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I've seen some reviews on YouTube before it was released um, in Ireland and I was like so excited to get it. So out of all the foundations that are launching recently and there's so many, I don't know how one can keep up with all the releases, I was most excited about this one, I have to say, and I'm not lying. Okay, so let's talk about packaging a little bit. So this is the box it comes in and this is the actual bottle like how gorgeous so you get this beautiful glass bottle and you have this kind of nice rose gold cap and you get a pump which is always a bonus and um, so this foundation comes in 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce and it's just a normal size I bought this foundation on Charlotte Tilbury um, website and I paid 40 euro or uh, you can get it for $44 in Sephora there. So I just want to tell you a little bit about this foundation because there's so many new things and new technologies involved uh, making this foundation and how it performs. So it's super long lasting matte finish foundation giving you full coverage on charlotte stillery website it says that it will give you flawless poreless looking skin it's suitable for all skin types so whether you're normal dry combination or oily. The highlights of this product is that it contains Replexium technology and this technology I believe now was used before in creating foundation. So what it does, it actually promises to make your skin better in time when you're continuously using this foundation. In other words, if you have wrinkles or fine lines, it promises that it's gonna be reduced. Also, this foundation contains moss cell technology, which means it hydrates your skin and gives you loads of moisture throughout the day. This product is also vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing. And as an added bonus, it says that it's waterproof, transfer proof and sweat proof. Another thing that I want to touch on is the color range. So Charlotte Tilbury um, expanded her color range for foundations and she released 44 shades of this foundation containing cool undertones, warm undertones and neutral undertones as well. And it's so, so amazing because many more people will be able to match their foundation much more accurately um, than before. But before you buy, just have this one thing in mind. So the color changes. So if you're buying this foundation online, you can find it a little bit hard to choose a shade because I tell you what, although there is a chart showing you how the color looks freshly applied and then after five minutes, it's still so hard to judge the color. Um, so I bought myself a five warm. So this is the color here, which I'm gonna test it out today. And I'll show you how much the color is changing. Even though there is this little chart online that you can look, it still doesn't um, reflect the real color. So you might find it a little bit hard to find the correct or the proper shade that matches you. So the best thing, if you have an opportunity, just go onto Charlotte Tilbury counter, ask for some samples or even do a few swatches and leave it for at least five minutes. So what she says, you have to leave it for five minutes for the real color to come through. So in other words, she's using the word and that the color optimizes and I would say it's like the same word for um, oxidizes. So you have to leave this color to sit on your face for like at least five minutes, the, the longer the better, and then you'll be able to see the true color of the foundation. So for application, Charlotte recommends to use a brush. So this is what I'm going to do today. And let's just dive straight into trying this foundation. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna use my own brush, I didn't buy Charlotte's brush, and I'm gonna just give it a little shake. And I'm gonna be using MAC brush, this one is 128, I think, and it's like a flat kind of brush. It's not supposed to be for your foundation, but I just love it to use a foundation. Um, so I'm gonna take a little pump of it, like a one full pump, I'll show you now. Okay, the consistency, it's quite creamy looking and quite thick, it's not runny at all. So we'll see how um, it is gonna apply. 
Okay, so let's do this. I'm taking a little bit of this foundation and starting in the center of my face. Okay, so it comes on very yellow as you can see. So I don't have anything on my skin apart from the primer I always use, the ordinary silicon um, primer. I just find that testing with this primer always helps me to judge whether foundation is good or not. So it's quite creamy and easy to move around. Now I'm after noticing that it has super super mild smell but it's not annoying at all. You can barely smell it but it's like, I don't know, like flowers or something. But it's like, it wouldn't annoy at all. It's lovely actually. So right now I can really say that um, it's not full full coverage, it's more of a medium coverage because I can still see my skin. I'm sure you can build it to make it more like a full medium coverage but I wouldn't say it's the full coverage foundation. It does a pretty good job evening out my skin tone and my skin looks really smooth on the camera and in person. One pump really goes a long way, so it was enough to cover my whole face with only one pump, which means that this bottle was gonna last me for ages if it's only one pump for per, per use. So this is how the skin looks like at the minute. It looks very smooth and the foundation went on lovely and it, it's not hard to blend it out. It's quite creamy. It does dry down to nearly... Yeah, I would say like it doesn't transfer and I didn't even set it with powder but for those who have normal to drier skin uh, don't even worry about setting it because it's kind of like nice and dry to the touch so now I just want to see if I can build it up a little bit to a fuller coverage so I'm gonna take maybe another half of the pump um, and do maybe the center of my face where I need more coverage okay so going in with the second layer and we're, go we're going to see whether it is buildable or not definitely for those who are drier make sure to really moisturize your skin because it is it is matte finish and it might feel a little bit drying but if you have this hydrating um, base for this foundation i think it would be fab foundation for starters feel really light with on the skin i mean it gives you matte finish um, but it doesn't feel like anything on the skin it feels like you're not even wearing makeup. Okay, so you can build the coverage a little bit, but I mean, the more product I apply onto my face, the more I can see that it might get a little bit cakey if I overdo it. So I'm just going to leave it and I'm just gonna use my concealers to further um, cover the discoloration and whatever other issues I have on my face. I kept a little swatch of this foundation at the back of my hand so when it's dry I will be able to show you how much it's optimizing. <laughs> First impressions are amazing, loving it on the skin, my skin look really really smooth, like it doesn't give me poreless look. I still have pores and I can see them. Um, so that's the part I wouldn't agree with the description, so it's not poreless look. It doesn't make my skin looking poreless, I have pores. Um, so yeah, so far so good. I'm just gonna go off camera and do the rest of my face and just gonna come back and talk to you again. So here I have uh, all the other products applied. All other face products went in amazingly on this foundation. Even I did like some parts I didn't even set. But say the bronzers and blushers and all went on lovely even though it wasn't set with powder. So at this point it is dry to the touch. It's actually um, transfer proof as they say, so I'm kind of delighted with that. Yeah, so, so far I'm really, really loving it. I'm going to see how well it lasts. So I'm gonna wear this foundation for the full day today and I will be back later on in the evening to check in with you guys and show you how it looks after like a um, good eight hours or more. Remember I told you I kept the swatch on the back of my hand, so I'm gonna show you the fresh swatch beside it and we'll be able to see how much it optimizes. I'm just gonna do a little pump just beside this and i show you. Okay, that's it there. So this is the, the same foundation after like 15 minutes and this is the fresh swatch. So this fresh swatch is much much lighter so you can really see how much it oxidizes or optimizes. So have this in mind when you're buying or as I said just do a swatch at the side of the neck and walk with the swatch 
uh, let it like change the color and then decide whether this colors for you or not. So I'm gonna go and do the things I have to do today and I will be back later in the evening and I will show you what is the situation with this foundation. See you in a bit. So I've been wearing this foundation now for over eight hours today and here is how it looks. So it did crease around my nose um, a little bit and uh, on my forehead a little bit but it's still quite good comparing to the other foundations I've tried in the past. Like it does stay uh, quite long and I haven't done any touch up throughout the day. Um, my pores I have to say they are more uh, prominent and you can really see them now and the foundation doesn't sit nice around my nose and um, kind of gathered a little bit into my smile lines and another funny thing is that it's just gone so funny on my chin and around my uh, mouth region as you can see on my chin region here it got so funny it's like little dots and separation going on and yeah, <laughs> that's so unusual. Uh, my other foundations don't do that. Overall, um, apart from this issue here that I have, um, this foundation is beautiful. Like even after eight hours of wearing it and I am very oily in a T-zone, it still looks quite well. Like it feels super, super lightweight. Like you don't even feel like you're wearing makeup. It is a bit tacky now that my oils came through, but Upon first initial application, it didn't even transfer off my skin. But even now, like it's not completely like sticky or anything. It's just more dewy, I suppose, because of my oily skin. I'm gonna keep wearing this foundation for another coming days, and I'm gonna see how it's acting or reacting my, with my skin later. And I will let you know in the comments down below. I don't have many bad things to say. I'm sure if you're normal to dry your skin and if you moisturize your skin really well before application, you would love this foundation, especially if you are the one who loves coverage. Like I do love coverage and I love the way it's like medium coverage, but it's not cakey and you can build it up. But again, be careful because it might get a bit like heavy looking but overall yes it's a nice foundation it's like good medium coverage it doesn't feel heavy and uh, i wouldn't say it's very hydrating well not on my skin but um i love the feeling of it anyways it's super lightweight it is definitely worth a try if you did try it let me know in the comments down below um what do you think of it thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video